Okay, so uh, got a request, or actually I got an email from uh, a company called Life Do to uh, review one of their fireplaces. Uh, didn't have to pay for it. I'm not getting paid to do this. But uh, as you know, we've got a couple of the solo stoves we've been pretty happy with. And uh, go back and watch those videos if you haven't seen them already. But um, the wife and I are going to uh, go ahead and do a review of this now. So uh, this will be exciting. We'll show you how this thing works and give you some feedback. It's kind of unusual, the graphics here and the statements. It seems like it's just uh, kind of a series of sentences. And I don't know what to make of it. If, uh, I mean, too much smoke when I fire the logs. I don't see it being practical. Airflow is not good. So I don't know if that means that's the experience we're going to get or. Very well packed. Yeah, that's good observation. Yeah, very well packed. <laughs> Is there directions? You know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if we're going to see directions or not. Um, kind of light on the instructions. Unless they're still in the box. No, there are no directions. No instructions. So, we're going to figure out. Hey, what do you got? So, uh, um, I was given this to uh, review and put it on YouTube. This is a portable fire pit, and I've used it once. I want to see what you think of it. So All right, let me take a look. What do you, what do you, what's your first impression? Right Mary? now, I think this is something you picked up out of the dumpster. <laughs> You'll be surprised. It's very simple. You've got a couple of these uh, grills, some metal rods. These are the end plates. Let's put it together. So, it's called Life Do. Life Do. Life Do. Kind of sketchy. So life, life Do's got a couple different angles here for this, uh, this to go in. You're almost making like a little trough. Yeah. Yeah. You're starting to pick it up. It didn't come with any instructions, so that made it a little difficult. So how'd you figure out what to do? Well, this is kind of how it works. You're just out here. It's, it really goes together simply, as you can tell. Let's see it. Yeah. No instructions. No, no nice instructions. Nice and easy. This lower grate. Is there a specific way you got to put it in? Um. See how that lower grate just kind of sets in there? Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. Without instructions, it's hard to say. So now this. <laughs> This is really kind of simple. So I think I'm looking at it, and it's like maybe this is like a higher level, yeah, right? Yeah, and then a lower pick. level. That's right. And over here, you're on the higher level. Yeah, so we need to get this. Yeah, this is really coming together nicely. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so now we gotta do that with this other guy. Now you gotta make sure you match these in with that. Yeah, which is really hard when you can't get the life do. It's really. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's amazing. Maybe, maybe there's a way that you put it in. Hey, how about this? And then maybe this goes in last. What do you think about that? Like, once you built that, and then look. Try it. Good enough, right? Look, yeah, and then you can push them in. There you go. Well, it didn't really go in all the way there. But still. 
Yeah, that's, that's I can see building this piece first, and then you can go down. All right, now it doesn't look like something you picked up out of a dumpster, but still looks a little wonky right here. Yeah, that's already coming apart. Yeah. Okay, so now this is if you if On you this look side, this side too. Oh, now this is coming apart. So that's kind of cool. So we're together. So now, and we're fully placed in the rack. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's all. I think that rack part might be the very last piece after you built it. You might be right. It's pretty good last. Other than the gallery, please. So you can cook steaks, lobster tails, um, pretty much anything you want. Pizza. Filet mignon. Yeah, absolutely. It's got nice air flow underneath here. So Good. imagine a dog just coming running. And jumping. Oh, yeah. Then you have to like, rebuild the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's actually. And then the dog is dead too. Yeah. 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 It's going now. No, but I mean the whole structure itself. You know, it just. Well, the cool thing about it is it does fold up, unlike the solo stove. This thing breaks down yeah. into something. It was like an inch, an, an inch tall. Yeah. Like you could hike with it. You could put it in your backpack. You just well, let's like not go that bag. far. <laughs> you I mean, could, after it cooled down, of course. You could put it in your backpack. But I mean, just simply, it just folds down to about an inch in the, you know, width and put it in. And You're in a rough spot, you know, times things aren't going well. Nothing like this, Seattle. This might be... This will save you. Yeah. I want to know what the meaning is between behind life, life do, do like do do it's like do. whenever life gives you poop you just it's you gotta do make do. Yeah. yeah yeah like do like is, are we supposed to burn poop in this you could like you, life yeah. do do you can do pretty much anything with this yeah. like if you want to burn your feces mm -hmm. you know to, or like some bear poop you know, you dispose of it yeah. Yeah. and this wood that I just cut up today mm -hmm. without bearing the very wet yeah this tree got knocked down in the storm so I don't know that it's going to really go up on us but we'll see I was camping two weeks ago and we had some very bad wood that was just totally moist and soaked. What was that? Is that... It was in Fall, Fall Creek Falls. That was down in Georgia. No. I, well, was... maybe it was I think it was Lake Altoona. Lake Altoona yeah. down Sweet in Sweetwater Campground. Camp yeah. I believe that's where it's at, yeah. I camp so much and I use these things so much. <laughs> it's it? hard to really... Family we're not guy. sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're not sponsored Sweetwater, Sweetwater is Camp not sponsored by Or Life Nor is Fall Creek. <laughs> or Life van guy. We were just amateurs trying to figure out how to make this I work. I feel like we need to get hot dogs or something. Were you hungry? We just had no, kebabs. I'm not hungry, but should, I feel like we should have. Yeah. Is it still black? Let's see. <laughs> you almost got it. He touched me with his black finger. Okay. Oh, that. I can't tell if that wood's even going. It's but... not. Well, I think it's doing Because I want to put the grill on it. Okay, so we've got a little fire going here. This wood that we're trying to burn is not great. We've got a couple fire starters in there that are trying to get it going. But we have it assembled, and this is a functional fire pit for somebody's backyard, camping. Um, Karen, what's your thoughts? It's great. Okay. Say it like you mean it. Okay. Good looking fire. Yeah. Gary, what do you fun. think after you've been through a lot here? All right. At the end of the day, I like I like the simplicity of being able to just build a grill. I like the air being able to come underneath it and keep the fire going. Um, if the wood had been better to burn, I don't know if you can use charcoals in it. Mm. If, if you can put charcoals in the bottom because of the grate. Maybe that, that uh. might work too. So. You know, if you could put charcoals, you know, in there as well. I like the concept. I like the concept of being able to just put these on there. You've got the air underneath. You put these on there. You can put your grill on top. Make some quick burgers. You can make some quick dogs. But I don't see, you know, as far as safety features now, right? So yeah. safety features, I didn't like when we were building it and it was kind of weak and it kind of moved around. Um but I do like the fact that it folds down to about an inch. I wish there was a carrying bag that you can put it all in, okay? Yeah. I wish that uh, there was a little bit more to this catch 
Yeah, that's that's a kind of a just a stamp piece of galvanized Catches metal. If yeah. I use that, if I use it, I'm going to be in the outdoors. I got to worry about the environment. I got to worry about well, it's setting a uh, fort, maybe a national forest on fire. Right, and which I do not want to put a national forest on fire. That would be. A, I mean, yeah, that'd be and bad. Call. You know, call my lawyer if that does happen because I did not do that. I think you could probably call the good folks at Life Do and they they Life work. Do. Yeah, they can work at at least making a better trough, carrying bag. Um, if you and I were just let let's say we were camping and we decided to play a little, you know, pick up game, throw some football around, and one of us <laughs> just bounced into that. I I'm it's afraid not, look, I'm if shaking we've it. been having some beers, and I I just you know I'm shaking pretty good here. Yeah, and it's not. It's not terribly bad, but they only came with three of these. That's I right. I don't know why there's only three when you have one, two, three, four. I think five, it's to six, get around seven. You know these logs, and I, well, no, that doesn't make sense because no, the grill's not going to lay flat. The grill is just right there at the same space. This grill goes on. Oh! Careful, Gary. Be careful. It's all one one yeah, length, yeah. so why would they have the different ones? I mean, they could make it pretty simple to just like have. Uh, I'm impressed with the quality of this Tennessee wood. It appears to be made out of asbestos. This one right here. This is, this is this one right here is smoking hot. Yeah. Right there. Oh my God! It's yeah. Careful, so, careful. Yeah. That's um, bad wood. Not because not good wood. wood. Well. I don't like good wood. But anyways, I could see a price point for this just because of the construction. I mean, twenty nine ninety nine. You know, you I, I, I don't. I don't think that's it. where it's coming in at, Gary. I think it's. No. I think sixty bucks. No, I get a portable. Uh, what what what? What's, no, a portable small little. What's a? Solo know, stove. Solo stove, or not even a solo stove, just a. A grill. What's the name of the grills that everybody? A uses? Weber grill. Maybe. Weber grill. A Weber grill. I can get a small Weber Real. grill, and it's going to be cheaper, Real. and it's all spaced in. I think it needs to have like little caps that fit on these ends that. So they don't. So they don't come out. So you don't yes. burn down an entire right. exactly. uh, so, campground. So it. Yeah. Like I mean, there's safety features that I it. think it needs. I mean, if a bull mastiff came running through here right now and just wagging his tail, happy as can be, and just knocked this thing over, we'd, we'd have a real problem. Or, yeah. or a Maltese. Anything. Yeah. Right, yeah. Or a good-sized bird. Or a Pomeranian Husky. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of... That's what I was going to say. A Pomeranian Husky. Very specific. Or, I mean, I even feel like a big wind gust. Would... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Like, let's all try it. Like, if we get on this... No, I, I don't think we want it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get the blower because I think that might be the answer. <laughs> all right. So, Gary, so, here's one of the things that we were talking about is that, you know, I think this trough is a little too low. And as the national force we're talking about, yeah. I want to make sure we're safe. So, if there was a big wind gust, if there was something huge that started rogue, blowing this a out... A rogue burst of... of yeah. Yeah. Blowing through, what would that be like? Well, this. <laughs> I think actually, we got the fire going. Actually, Holy. Geez, that was actually better. really good. I think that says a lot about the, the combustion air. But what I'm more afraid of is the sparks going in there. Wow. Wow. That's <laughs> No, we're just doing a little experiment here with the 911 not needed because of the life do. <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> All right, so this is perfect. If you have, if you have a, a 530, yeah, if you have the Eco 530, CFM, Eco 530, bring this with you while you go camping, <laughs> and you're you're good. Look at that! Huh? Now she's going. So I mean, has anybody's opinion changed of the the life go? Uh, it's still the Not same. Really. Life, it's life just more of your fire I'm still more stuff. worried about the, the 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 embers moving. It's just not. It seems like it keeps it within tree. 30 feet of the fire pit. I don't see how that would cause a. This is really messy you know? though. They got helicopters. I mean, they can do a pretty decent drop. 
If they get ahead of something like this, Gary. I'm still so worried about that that poor wood of yours. <laughs> I don't No. Yeah, that's if you bring the camera you can hear it hissing. Here, come here, bring it in. Let's get it. That's how much moisture is in that wood. I don't like those. There's so much moisture embers in that, that wood. I don't like those on fire embers. Yeah, that's the part that does worry me is that it's so it's But they get trap. trapped in the tree. But I mean, like some of them may fall outside of that. And then you're walking around. And they might get on your step. dog. Yes. No, and you walk around and you step on well, it's it. It's not a very big tree. That one is like right on the edge. I just feel like it. No, it's very contained. Oh, you got one in the grass there. Is that going to turn out like a stick? All right. That was a good angle shot, Nicole. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that right. wood is sticking straight up. <laughs> All right. I think. Uh, at this point, um, we've completed our test. We don't have the, the appropriate wood um, that, that would allow this to burn to its full potential, but we've improvised between a, uh, you know, a blower and uh, some, blower. some people that have been drinking alcohol that have offered not, some advice. These are not both mine. Somebody spilled a drink over there. Yeah, that's yours. That's his. Appreciate that. All right. So, yeah, go, well, really? You're going to go and zoom in on that? Oh, my gosh. So that's that's our uh, Gary. Thanks for your help on this one. Hey, not a problem. Appreciate you know, as it. being an avid you know camper, I just yeah. wanted to see what you were using. Honest review, and would you buy one of these? Bottom line, price point is is, is really what I'm going to look at. I would use under a hundred dollars, under fifty. What is the price under point? fifty? Just simply because it's so easy to put up, it's easy to grill, and it's so easily you know packed away and mm -hmm. put up. I don't know how long it's going to take to cool off. That's well, the big this, thing. This these are warm. Yeah. You know, that's warm. And, and you know, but, I mean. Yeah, there's some temperature there. Yeah. If you had dried wood, this would actually probably be burning pretty well right now and radiating some heat. Unlike a solo stove, it doesn't have that inner liner. And it's allowing the heat to really, I mean, I'm feeling the heat even though it's yeah. kind of a weak fire. Hey, take a look at this. Come here real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I just wanted to do a little more. But, but yeah. look at this, if you would. Come over and get an angle of this right here. All right, here's what you can't see by just looking at the top. Look at the reflection at the bottom, and oh. look how hot it actually wow. is underneath, underneath the so, wood itself. Do you see that? Yeah. So, so it's got some heat coming. That's some hot wood. If you could find a way to stave <laughs> four to six inches off the ground, you'd actually be pretty if warm. I could actually cook weenies yeah. right here. Oh, that's hot. That's actually hot right there. You could put like yeah. a rotisserie chicken right there. Yeah. No, that would, that's excellent. I mean, at this point, if you put the grill underneath it, it might cook faster. All right. We're going to wrap it up. This wood was not appropriate for this device. It's not, it's not dried. The fire starter sticks work using a 530 CFM uh, air blower. Made a hell of a difference. Ego. Yeah, the Ego Blower, but this is about 66 volt. And, uh, you know, I think if you want a cheap little fire pit that you can throw in the trunk of your car, throw in the back of your van, keep in your, uh, your basement, you know, after a tornado and you gotta heat yourself up, make some soup, there you go, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't I mean, have dogs. After a tornado, eat some soup. Well, I mean, we're, you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, uh, you gotta have some. I'm gonna come to your house. <laughs> Remember that? We're gonna wrap this up. I hope, uh, I hope this has been very helpful. If you like this video, you don't need to subscribe to my channel. You don't even need to do a thumbs up. You can do whatever you want. It's America. So thanks for watching. <laughs>